All right, welcome, man. Uh, <clears throat> thank you for uh, ordering this gig. What I want to do is I want to show you how to find um, our surface area and how to order them incorrectly. So we, I'm sorry, not surface area, but volume. When you're trying to find the volume of it, these are what we call prisms. And what we have is of these prisms, uh, what you want to do when you're trying to find the volume of a prism, prism, I'm sorry, is find the area of the base and that's going to be multiplied by the height. Now these two are what we call pyramids. And this one has a circular base, and this one has a, uh, a square base. Now the only little difference is with these pyramids, we're actually going to be multiplying one-third of the area of our base times height. So this is what we call a rectangle prism. This one is volume equals area of base times your height. Here, we're going to have volume equals one-third area base times height, and this one's going to be the same thing. So the first thing we want to do is just find the area of the base. Well, here, if we notice, it's a circle, so therefore the radius is going to be 4. And then that, what that's going to tell me, since my diameter is 8, my radius is 4, to find the area, that's going to equal pi r squared, which is actually, my radius is 4 squared, times our height, which is going to be 14. Over here, we have our volume equals base times height. So the area of our base is going to be 4 times 6 times our height, which is 10. And then for this problem, volume equals 1 third area of base is 8 times 8 times our height, which is 12. Now the reason why these two are different, if you notice that they, they focal down on a point. So therefore, their volume is going to be different than this one because this, this is just your base extended. Um, however, these two focal on a point, so their volume is, is one-third times base times height. So I did some work out here for them, and what I figured out was when I try to find the volume, I get volume equals one-third, and that's going to be 50.265 times 14. Volume here, obviously, 4 times 6 is 224 times 10. And here, volume equals 1 third 64 times 12. Well, when you go ahead and do the rest of this, when you, can, uh, you can just multiply the rest here. What I end up getting for this answer is volume equals 234.2. 57. Here I get 240, and here I get 256. So therefore, when you want to find out which one is going to have the largest volume, this one had the largest volume, then this one had the next largest volume, and then this one has the least uh, volume out of the three. So I hope this helped you. If there's any other questions you have, please feel free to message me. Um, but that's how you find the volume. Just make sure you use the, your, uh, use the formulas and then plug them in for your, uh, plug each answer in and then just arrange them as set. So if you have any questions, message me, but I hope this helped you out.